What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome back to some more Warabouts test server session. For me, it's Saturday where the test server is. You guys say you see this at a different time. Uh, but yeah, look at this. I've built a corrosion-based siren robot. Two setups of this with Hornet and Sting. Also interesting that even War uh, Pixonic has understood that the Sting performs really badly, and they categorize it as a beginner weapon in blue, where the uh, Hornet is a legendary tier 4 weapon. Interesting, right? But yeah, so 600 meters range and with a flight ability up there we should see enemies very well and be able to hit them also with these weapons we probably can bypass the reflector ability of the other uh, harpy and siren robots right so this might be a very interesting setup here on the test server also look at that Oh my goodness, look how long and large these weapons are. This is the sniper version of the siren with two heavy and a light. You can definitely do that. Let's jump into some gameplay and uh, yeah, gameplay away um, and test those new things. I really uh, think they they have a lot of potential. Uh, one thing I was wondering or what I was concerned about is remember that these weapons can uh, these robots can now fly around. Remember that you can put uh, speed upgrade modules on the robot and remember that you can do pilot skills with speed as soon as the robot is able to move around and so this will probably increase the movement speed also in the air which might be a very dangerous thing to do because the balancing factor on this robot in my opinion is the fact that it can absolutely not fly around look there's already an enemy coming in with a raven so boom 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 oh man Look, there's another one coming in. Boom, boom, boom. But that's right there is a different robot. But look how he's ticking down. Jesus. Dude, the corrosion is working so well. Boom, boom. Come on. Fire. Two, one. Bam. Oh, come on. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, he's on me already. Oh, and I think they've given it a new a visual effect. So we're flying up. Doing a, a corrosion bump down there or a, a freezing effect bump. And then it's time for some boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. I like this. This is a good setup. It's just the reload just takes forever. 12 seconds, man. Oh! What am I supposed to do for 12 seconds when I'm not able to fire at anybody? Okay. So this guy, uh, he already teleported back. All right. There's the blitz. He's getting some corrosion now. There we go. That guy is not in range, but he is now. Boom, 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 boom. And we sent the uh, the firestorm bomb over there as well. Can we fire it twice? I don't know. No, I think we were only able to fire it once. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh, nice. Oh, man. Dude, whoa. The Typhon shield blocks a ridiculous amount of damage. Did you see that? Did you see the Typhon blocking all that damage? Oh, uh, nice shot with the Thermite there, friend. So, I wonder, is he going to teleport back? No, he's just falling down. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Take that. Let's make the Orochi use his stealth. He didn't, though. He didn't do it. Okay, is he still not stealthing? Yeah, he isn't. Boom, boom, boom. Now he's going to stealth, isn't he? But it's too late, man. You're going to die from the corrosion. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. That his guy, now that his stealth is done, or his shield, I was able to take him down. I guess we can fly up and launch a uh, firestorm down there that hits both of these champs. But we won't really be able to do any significant damage to him with the, with the weapons here, I think. Although, maybe we did do that. Increased resistance loaded. He's not really able to do a lot of damage to us right now. We have 160 resistance from the drone. Dude, those freaking knight... Uh, those freaking shields of those guys, right? They're so tough. You can't break them. Just can't break these things' shields. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're going through. Yeah. Now I need to teleport back before the end. There we go. Otherwise, I'd fall down and die. Yo, look at those two uh, those two um, ah, come on, Typhon robots. You just can't kill them. You just can't kill them because of those shields. All right, this shield is gone. Nice. Okay, finally, both of these guys died. Jeez, that was like an end boss right there. 
They were impossible to be killed. I'm gonna actually land up here now. Starting on reload. Oh, there's a lot of Mugumets and a lot of... Uh, of those weapons around. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I think we're gonna be in trouble any second now with the uh, enemy up above. That's Flux. Okay, he's using Flux. Oh! They killed the Fafnir already! I wonder how much damage we've done at the end of this match, ladies and gents, because... We're bypassing the resistance on the Titans pretty well. With these weapons, right? Oh my goodness. Alright, so they just deleted me as if it was nothing. I don't know why. Why were they deleting me so quickly? Wow. I thought I'd be in... Whoa, hey. Dude. Stop that. Boom, boom. Yeah. Let's fire empty the weapons. I like those cannon-like uh, ballista weapons. No, what is it called? Um, the Hornet. Yeah. I like them. I feel like they have a lot of style. We need to kill the freaking Titan. And we are now. He's going down. Yes. Oh, gosh. Another Titan. That's wonderful. Uh-oh. Oh, starting up with a flight here. Otherwise, I would have probably been dead here. Yep, some freezing on him. Teleporting. Wait, why am I... Why are they, they killing me so easily in the air? Let's go with a harpy for a sec. Because the match is going to end anyways in a second. And I believe more valuable would be the harpy bump effect. Look how we're killing now. Oh, wow, I just got the Titan as well. Dude, that was insane. Seriously, man, the Harpy is so powerful with these bump effects it does on the on the ability. And also, remember that uh, the, the ability itself also does a bump effect. Okay, we're flying up now. Boom, boom, boom. This harpy is going to start flying now, isn't he? I'm actually gonna keep land. I'm gonna land here. I don't want to teleport back to where this guy is. However, he's going to be able to teleport to me. What if I look this way? Will he land in front of me and down on the ground? And I could just walk away from him? He hasn't yet teleported anywhere. Now he has. Oh god, another Arthur. Let's see what we can do to him. Fire. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this big rocket. Oh, man. He's taking a lot of damage from this. Seriously, man. Teleporting down. Here we are. Back on the ground. Nice. I think we just deleted, like, half the Arthur there. But, of course, we have to reload our weapons. Which we're gonna do. I, I think, personally, the uh, the Harpy is gonna be the better thing. We're gonna have another match and test, test this further. But it's so hard to na to navigate into safety from the uh, from the harpy. Where is he shooting at? I think he wants to kill himself. No, I don't know what he's doing. He's like firing past me. What is going on, man? He's not shooting me at all. Oh, now he is. No, he's not. I don't know, this guy's weird. Either maybe he's like got super weird aiming problems or... Uh, or he's just making fun of me. Okay, I can't hit this guy. I wonder if I could hit this guy through the wall. That's something I would like to test. If I let send a fire strike right above this uh, position, will it go through the wall? Because with the size of these effects, I believe it might be able to do that, but he's going down anyways. Whoa, and fire. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, take that, Firestorm. Take it. Teleporting back. Back in safety. Oh, and this guy, he already had a bomb effect pretty well staggered on him because he went through the explosion radius that I've deployed. Oh, man. That guy went down quick, but we def we got defeated. Yes. The enemy defeated us pretty well. Uh, this time, though, look, 2.6 million. And we were down a guy. That's, that's, I really felt that. That, that we were down a guy. We, you could see that the enemy was advancing forward all the time because they were six and we were five. Now, this is a good map for our wasp setup, I guess. 
let's deploy down there. Uh, we could start with a sniper too, but the sniper, Gauss and Volt, it just looks re really interesting, but I really want to run this setup more. Uh, because that's the one from the thumbnail, right? So, what do we have here? Boom, boom, boom. Are we bypassing his resistance? I actually don't know. If we are. He teleported back, okay. I'm gonna activate massive resistance now. And heal back, and he's gone. Nice. This guy's in safety. There's a hawk. What's that? Come on, Hawk. You are my target now. Bam, bam, bam. Yep, down to last stand with him. Wait a minute, he was firing the same weapons as us. He was firing the same weapons. Look, he also has a similar setup that he built himself. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, let's kill him. Bam, bam, bam. All right, sorry, ladies and gents. My, uh, my hardware drive just went dry. But thankfully, uh, I noticed that really quickly. Look, we're actually doing a decent amount of damage to this guy and applying the corrosion effect. Wait a minute, what? I just killed the other guy? Ah, oh, with a reflector. That's why. Awesome, dude. That is crazy. I didn't know you could... Uh, well, actually, I knew you could do that, but I, I didn't expect it. Let's put it like that, okay? Boom, 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 boom. Uh-oh. I think we're in trouble. Yep. Especially since he's going to be able to, uh, to do that now. Oh, hey, hello, and bye. Yep, I'm teleporting away. Oh, he's jumping. He's got a jump unit. That's crazy. But I'm still able to do a lot of damage and bring him down to last stand, pretty much. Yep, I think he's going down to last stand. We can check with the harpy. Is he? Boom, boom. Where is he? What the? Ah, he's there. Okay. Uh, bomb effect trigger. Oh, that's right. Everybody has the drone now. Remember, everyone has that drone, the new Ironheart drone that disables bump effects. I totally forgot. And uh, that's why the bump effect isn't working as well on this test server. Oh man, look at this. There's a Garrett now. Where'd she get that shield, Garrett? Bump effect on him and wow, look how long it takes just to get through the shield that he had. Was that a battleship shield? Where did that shield come from? A draw oh, it must be from a drone. That's right. Yep, got another bump effect triggered on him. This guy's sitting down there waiting for something. Okay, he got deleted quick. Oh, it's team deathmatch. That's awesome, guys. That means we can fight for the end till the very end. Bump effect explosion on him, triggered on the ground. He's right inside the bump effect. Ah, you know, no, no. Okay, I managed to uh, teleport back. I almost forgot to teleport. Yeah, he's on me. He wants to retake revenge. Actually, wait, he's now on somebody else. Okay. Bump effect isn't triggering now. He's now looking at me. Launching the bump effect explosion on him. And look how fast it keeps triggering the bomb. Dude, this is crazy. That's just from the bump effect on, on, the, uh, on the firestorm. Triggers really quickly. Activated some extra resistance with the... Wow, look how long it takes us to kill this guy. Holy smokes, that was a long-lasting invader. Okay, he spawned another robot. I hope he does this time does not have a flight. Look at this. Oh my lord, he's going to get eaten. He's going to get eaten alive by this. Wow, the, du the duration on his shield. It's so insane, the duration on the shield that he's got. Yeah, bump effect, go away. Look, look at this. Four, five seconds, five seconds of this. Are you kidding me? They, I thought they changed the duration on those stupid shields. Look, three, four, five, five seconds, man. That's just completely insane. 
Pixonic, I thought you changed this. Why is it still a five second shield? And look how often it comes up, man. This is so stupid. It's so stupid for the game. The game is it's like getting so dis it's going it's just getting destroyed by this. Single-handedly, those stupid shields destroy this game, man. This is so it has to go away. And I won't stop complaining about this complete garbage because it's so disruptive to this game. I had to stop firing at him five times. Five times I had to stop firing. Such absolute nonsense. All right, freezing effect on both Titans now. Both Titans are subject to this. And of course, everybody fo uh, for, uh, goes in with the uh, better Titans. I haven't designed or defined any better Titans here for me. So the only Titan I have is a kit with standard uh, machine guns. Uh, probably not going to be able to defe defeat and fight back against, against those guys. Fight, fly up, and the rocket comes right in between and hits all of these guys at the same time with the freezing. Nice. And you know, one thing that I noticed is that the um, the freezing actually has uh, the uh, no the the ability has the same uh, uh, duration as the uh oh oh man yup it has the same duration as the uh, the flight. The weapon reload. Our firing pattern, I mean. Okay. Going up here. And launching this right into the middle. And going for the Arthur there. Then we're landing for a second. I can never defeat this guy. I cannot even begin to defeat him. It's a meta setup and uh, what we're reusing is more, more of a funzy thing. Uh, but we can try and bring down this guy. Stove ability loaded. Ah, his shoot is starting to break. Very nice. So let's go and get him. We are now suppressed. We may as well just stop firing altogether. See how vulnerable and useless the kit is compared to the other titans? You don't even have a lot of firepower. You have two light and one heavy weapon. And the game won't even allow you to use that one heavy weapon all the time. Your one web heavy weapon goes down periodically. It's so weird. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of overtime damage. Uh, and we're, we, I guess we lost this match pretty well. There's nothing with low health that I could eliminate. Increased resistance loaded. Boom. I gave him a little nudge. Yep, he's going down. Don't think I'll be able to kill him though. Boom. I gave him one more hit, but it's not enough for a kill. Alright. And then we have one last robot. That we can use. Maybe I can get that one kill here. That was, by the way, a bad use ability of the ability, I guess. I could technically heal all that HP back that I just lost. Um, whoa! What the heck? Okay, then. 200 meters further. Let's reload. Well, I've gotten one kill at least. And this is a Spectre. I think I can probably kill the Spectre. And then make it a 25 to 26. Okay. But now it's going to be a 27 versus 26 again. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, if I've had a useful Titan defined, like all those tryhards here went away and 
Uh, but you know what? It's I guess t defining a Titan doesn't take as long, but still, the for me the focus was to test uh, Harpy and Siren. So I didn't even bother equipping Titans. But if I've had a better Titan, I could have probably whooped some some butts, and I could have probably made that difference with a better Titan. Um, if I spawn spawn it somewhere else, and yeah. But yeah, for now, this is it. I think the Corrosion Siren, in theory, works really well. What's making this useless by the, or, or, or too weak is the 12 seconds reload. It's actually, it, I think it's probably even a 13 seconds reload because it begins with t counting down from 12. So it means it's 13 point, like, or 12.99 or 13. And when you see it, like, it triggers at 12. I don't know if it's 12 or 13, but it's way too freaking long, man. This weapon could be good if it wasn't for a such ridiculous long reload. Uh, and that completely holds back the performance of this weapon. Because this, in this today's meta, it doesn't count how much damage you do in a clip. It doesn't count. Because half the shots go into stupid shields anyways. Um, what counts in today's meta is damage per minute sustained. That's what you want. Any weapon that does not offer you as high sustained damage per minute is a worthless weapon period. Right? This is a great weapon. This is not such a great weapon, but it's okay. Um, this is a horrendous weapon. Uh, this is really, really bad. What's good is uh, Hail and Scotty, Devastator and Scatter, or, uh, you know, Flamethrowers. Uh, like, uh, the Ember and uh, uh, the um, uh, Blaze and Igniter. Those are excellent weapons. They offer you a ridiculous amount of high damage sustain over long periods of time. So those are great weapons. Uh, but yeah, so anything that doesn't go under this is a hor horrible... Uh, w uh, the weapon setup in the meta because in the meta you won't be able to keep up right but we still did three point something million damage something uh that wasn't too bad so yeah thanks for watching everybody have a good have a good one money signing off until next time bye bye